Oh, what's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, your father has sent me with another word, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but God says somebody needs this message. So I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing a video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen. All right, now, family, listen, I have already blessed this space and prayed and welcomed the Holy Spirit in and welcomed the good Lord in. Y'all know how I do, right? But, Father God, I still ask that you use me, Father. Speak through me. I'm your vessel, Father God. Speak to your children. Make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, family, listen, I don't know who needs this word today, but God says somebody needs this thing, so I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it comforts you, encourages you, and that it blesses you, okay? Y'all still get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit, but whoever this is for, you're going to know this word is for you, okay? This is going to be just what you need. So God is saying right now, guys, he said it is time to rebuild. Yes, your father said it is time to rebuild. Listen to me. I don't know who you are, where you are, what you're going through, how long you've been going through, baby. But I'm going to give you this thing, how God gave it to me. And I pray that it's a blessing, okay? So God is saying right now, whoever this is for, you've been crying out. You're like, God, how much longer do I have to go through this? Come on now. Some of y'all are feeling like you're never going to come out of this storm. Amen. And the enemy wants you to. Come on now. The enemy wants you to focus on the storm. Come on now. But I come here to tell you today that your father say it is time to rebuild. Listen to this, y'all, because this is a prophetic word, right? So but receive this thing by faith, because if God is telling you it is time to rebuild, y'all, that means the storm is coming to an end. And listen to me now. God said it is time to rebuild. And if God is telling you it's time to rebuild, baby, he's telling you that whatever you're going through, baby, it is coming to an end. Come on now. I come to tell somebody today, baby, that every storm has to come to an end. Listen to me, child. Your father said every storm has to come to an end. I don't know what you're going through, baby. I don't know how long you've been going through. But God is saying right now, baby, he said the storm has passed. Listen to me. When it's time to rebuild, it's after the storm has passed. Come on now. But God, so God is saying right now, baby, the storm has passed. I don't know. It may feel like you in the middle of that thing. It may feel like it may never come to an end. But when God has spoken, he has spoken. And if he's telling us today, baby, it's time to rebuild. He is telling you in so many words that the storm is coming to an end. Receive that thing by faith, family. Somebody say the, the storm has passed. Come on now. If you receive this word by faith, baby, even if this wasn't your word, come on now. If you're going through and you're ready for the storm to end, come on. Somebody say the storm has passed. Declare that thing so. Come on now. Speak that over yourself today. Come on. Somebody say the storm has passed. In Jesus' name, I'm telling you right now, baby, God say the storm has passed, okay? He said, right now, I need you to focus on rebuilding, right? Y'all, God gave me this thing so deep, y'all, as I was sitting and talking with the Holy Spirit about the word, right? He blessed me with an old joke from Cat Williams, right? Some of y'all may know Cat Williams, some of y'all may not. And some of y'all may know this joke. Some of y'all may not, but God blessed me with it, so I'm going to bless you with it, right? So, y'all, it's a pretty old joke that he told, right? But it was about um, a lady who was being interviewed on the news, right? It was about her house being taken by a tornado out in Oklahoma some years ago, right? So, her whole house was gone, right? And I'm telling y'all, some of y'all feel like everything has been taken. You have lost everything, right? So, God is saying right now, listen, let me tell y'all a joke, right? So, bam, Cat Williams, he's, uh, he's talking about the lady being interviewed. And like I said, her house had been taken by the tornado. And the people are asking her, what is she going to do now that she's come back and found her house gone? And she said, we're going to rebuild, right? And Cat Williams makes a joke about it. He's like, yes, we got to be able to rebuild, right, after a storm. And he said, because America loves a comeback. 
And I come to tell somebody today that your father loves a comeback, right? He loves for his children to do what kingdom children do. That's saying I may fall seven times, but I get back up. Amen. The word said the righteous shall fall seven times and get back up. So God is saying right now, baby, don't focus on the storm. Don't focus on what you have lost. Come on now. Don't focus on the damage because a storm going to do what it does. Listen to me. God say that storm going to do what it does. Amen. He said you got to do what the kingdom kids do. You got to do what the chosen do. You have to do what the strong do. And you got to rebuild. It's time to get back up. Come on now. God say you got to do what the righteous do. The righteous fall, but they get back up. Amen. God is saying right now, don't focus on the storm. Don't focus on the divorce. Come on now. Don't focus on the financial struggles. Come on now. Don't focus on whatever you're going through. God say don't focus on the mental struggles. He said don't focus on the storm. The enemy wants you to focus on the storm. And God is saying right now, you're going to have to choose to focus on rebuilding. Amen. Are you ready to rebuild? Come on now. God say, oh, are you ready to rebuild? I don't know who this is for, baby. But if you're ready to rebuild, baby, you're ready to rebuild. You're ready to come up out of that storm. Somebody say, I am ready to rebuild. Come on now. Somebody say that thing out loud. Say, I am ready to rebuild. Go ahead and say it out loud. Then type that thing out. Somebody say, I am ready to rebuild. And y'all know when y'all go down and type it out, baby. We put capital I, capital A, capital M. This is saying, I am rebuilding with the great I am. Come on now. I am rebuilding with the great I am. Are you ready to rebuild with the great I am? Somebody type that thing out. Say, I am ready to rebuild. I'm telling you, your father is saying right now, no matter how long the storm was, come on now, how hard the storm was, he said it's about over. Come on now, every storm must end. Amen. God is saying the storm that you're going through, baby, it is coming to an end. In Jesus' name. Listen, y'all, let me give y'all some scripture and I'm going to let y'all go, okay? I love y'all so, so much, y'all. So God led us to uh, Genesis 9, really Genesis 8 and 9. So y'all go back and read it. I'm going to give y'all some of it, okay? But I encourage you guys to go back and read it and let it bless you, okay? So y'all, if you're not familiar, this is after the flood, right? The great, the great flood with Noah, right? And he's uh coming off the ark, right? So as soon as he get off, you know, the flood waters has receded, right? Like I said, the storm has passed, amen? So bam, he comes off and he builds this uh, uh, altar to God. And when he builds the altar to God, this is what the Lord tells him. He uh, he makes a covenant with, with, uh, with Noah and also with the earth, right? In, in chapter 9. This is where we are, right, guys? I'm telling y'all, y'all go back and read it and let it bless you. I promise it's going to bless you, family. So, again, we're in chapter 9, Genesis chapter 9, and this is what the Lord tells them. He blesses Noah and his sons, right? He blesses them. He tells them to multiply, okay? He tells them to increase and multiply. He tells them that the beast on the land is theirs, the birds of the sky, the fish of the sea, everything crawling on the ground. He said, I give it all into your hands. Right? He tells them, as I gave you the greens, I'll give you everything else, but just don't eat any animals with lifeblood still in it. He said, I'm going to hold you accountable. I hold every man accountable, every animal accountable. Right? Listen, then he tell them, he said, do not shed human blood or your blood will be shed by human. Okay? Y'all go back and read it. I'm telling you. He tell you, he, he gave him instructions on how to rebuild. He tells him it's his ex expectations right and so god is saying right now i am ready to tell you how to rebuild if god starts to give you instruction on rebuilding and you're focused on what's been destroyed or what you have lost you're not going to be on the same page you're not going to be prepared to take on the instructions that god is giving okay so y'all this is a warning right this is a warning so god is saying right now baby focus on rebuilding because i'm ready to help you rebuild amen i'm ready to give you the blueprint to rebuild it right so god is saying right now and let me tell y'all let me bless y'all so good right so god is saying right now don't worry about what was destroyed or what was lost because just like in the great flood listen to this because it's gonna bless somebody just like in the great flood whatever was lost whatever was destroyed it was by the design of god come on now it was by god's great design do you hear me whatever you lost in this storm whatever you just you whatever you're going through whatever you just went through because everybody not in the same spot right this is a prophetic word it's different for everybody so you know but god is saying right now he's like whatever you're going through whatever you lost whatever was destroyed god say that was by my grace design 
So I'm telling you, God is saying, guys, don't focus on what was lost. Amen. He said, focus on rebuilding. Because I'm prepared to give you instructions to rebuild. And I need you ready to rebuild. Amen. You ain't got time. You ain't got time. I know it was, listen, I know you went through it, baby. Come on. Some of y'all like, y'all, there wasn't even a storm, baby. It was a full-blown hurricane. Amen. But God is saying, even if it was a hurricane, listen to this. Even when it was a hurricane, if it was a hurricane. The storm still has to come to an end. Come on now. It still has to pass. God is saying, when it passes, what will you do? Come on now. He said, a storm has come to an end. It is time to rebuild. Amen. Listen, y'all received this thing by faith family. I don't know who, oh, who this word was for. Okay. But I pray that it reaches you and I pray that it blesses you. Okay. Because it blessed me when God gave it to me. Okay. Listen, luckily, listen, one more thing. I promise you, I'm going to let y'all go. Okay, as I was praying about this word and I was walking around, okay, if y'all still with me, this gonna bless you, okay? I promise it's gonna bless you because I almost forgot this thing and it's a key thing, okay? So as I was walking around with the Lord and I was praying over this word, guys, as I, before I brought this word forward, I stopped by the little lake, right? There's a little bridge there, right? Like a little dam. And the Lord reminded me that the last time that I had was in that same spot praying uh, um, in a spirit, okay? Okay, was praying out in a spirit and singing out to the Oh Lord, it reminded me that I saw a beaver. Okay? And I just laugh because if you don't know, the beaver is a builder. Come on now. The beaver is a builder, and God is saying, right now, you are a builder. And it is time for you to start building. Amen. It's time for you to start using those building skills and start building. But you're going to have to build with the Lord. Amen. The Lord has your instructions to build and he's ready to start rebuilding with you. Okay. Help you to start rebuilding your life. Amen. Some of y'all have beat sicknesses and all of those things. God said it's time to start rebuilding. Even if you didn't go through a divorce, right? If you just had some hang up in your relationship, whatever you guys have just survived with the, with the, with the marriage have just survived. Survive. God say it's time to rebuild. Amen. Come on now. I love y'all so, so much, y'all. I really, really do. I love y'all with the love of God family. I thank y'all for the love, the comments, the shares, the new subscribers, the new followers on TikTok. I love y'all family. I thank y'all for being a part of the family and allowing me to be a part of your journey. Okay. I thank y'all for, for the encouraging emails. Okay. And your prayer requests. Listen, I'm all cut up on those emails. Okay. Listen, y'all, even if I didn't reply to you guys, know that I am I'm praying for you but i think i replied to everybody okay because i think i replied to all the emails amen but just know even if i didn't reply i only replied to what the holy spirit leads me to reply to but i am praying for you guys right and guys i thank you so so much for the sowing of seeds the donations the gifts that you guys have been sending i thank you for your generosity okay and i pray that god will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive amen it is in Jesus' name that I'm praying for you guys, okay? All right, now, family, y'all go out and live a blessed life. You know the blessed life comes from first, being a blessing.